Good night, my little gumdrop. Hope you're enjoying all the peace and quiet in our new home as much as we are. collecting underpants right now. I'm on a schedule here. Just because I'm small doesn't mean you can ignore me. Thank <laughs> you. 
I could be collecting underpants right now. Just because I'm small doesn't mean you can ignore me. Any last words, pussy? be collecting underpants right now. I'm on a schedule here. Good night, my little gumdrop. You fucked with the wrong now. I wish I'd spend more time to yeah! Suck on that! Come at me, bro! 
should spend more time gobbling under pills. <laughs> just sometimes feel like we should tell him the truth. Why? So we can relive it all in his head? It's better that he can't remember. But if he really has this gift, he, he's going to discover it again on his own anyway. And then they'll try and use him for his gift, and he'll become a weapon. They won't stop looking for him. We have to keep everything secret, even from him. I'm so frazzled. Will you just make love to me? Of course I will, darling. <laughs>
Here come some serious shrinkers. Hey, there's an emergency meeting at the Elven Forest. Commander Douchebag has decided to bless us with his presence. Let's get started. Humans and elves of Zaron, a great evil has descended upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. So far, he has recruited at least 50 warriors to be on his team, and he is... <laughs> you have something to say, wizard? Uh, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. <laughs> You guys, this is serious! Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. 
He has recruited many of our friends, and so our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Fuck that. We do not team up with fucking elves. You got a better idea, wizard fat ass? After what you elves did us at the Battle of Wormsley Woods, you think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell a butter that that was Jimmy's fault and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces, my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you t t suck my elven dick, butters? Enough! Whether we are human or elfins are gonna matter one bit if all of Zaun is taken over by German zombies. We saw what that green stuff does. We better figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in. Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. So we recruit more factions to join us. The Pirates, the Federation, and the Girls. The Girls? Kyle, the Girls are not gonna fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince Girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. He is really good at getting Facebook friends, I'll give him that. Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war! Huzzah! We elves craft the finest shit in the land.
Give it back! Give it back! Why don't you make us? That's my Justin Bieber toy. Not anymore, it's not. Aw, did Baby lose her toy? <laughs> Come on, you guys! You gonna cry? Who is this? Be a kid if you know it's good for you. I'm over it. be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? The 412th meeting of the girls is hereby called to order. Sparkle, sparkle. Sunshine! Sunshine, sparkle. Millie Larson has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes! yes. 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 Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, sparkle, Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yes! Yes! Ew. 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 yes. What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. The boys are playing some new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened, and we must do something. I know. I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're gonna send Monica a Facebook page with your picture, then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood, and you wanna meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be, and see if Monica tries to hit on you at all, because that way we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. Whatever they ask you to do, remember we need their help. Stay out of the lost forest. Sure, it's got...
If shit goes down, I'll come running. Oof! Come play hide and seek with us. You're it! Oh, hi. You must be Mike. So, you want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced, if you ask me. But, hey, I read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! Uh -huh. We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! What do you mean? You guys are my best friends! Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced skank. Guys, wait, please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand this. Come on, let's do this! Are we playing or what? Can I just take my turn? want to thank you for your help. All right then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, we want to thank you for helping us determine whether or not Monica was a two-faced bitch. She really made us mad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. You see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Bebe's boyfriend, but she didn't. Because Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me, then tries to stab me in the back. Right, so we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. Makeover! Makeover! Yeah. 
ready as you'll ever be, I guess. Let's get to the clinic. All right, new kid, get inside the abortion clinic and find the records room. Take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us. That will help us find out who the two-faced bitch is. I'm sure you can appreciate why none of us can do this. If any of us are spotted in there, people might think we're sluts like Jessica Rodriguez. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. Hi. 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 Hey, hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch. Cool. We'll see you around. Awesome. Skank. All right, now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. Nice look, dude. Some mornings I wake up with a sore asshole. I must be sleeping on it funny. Hi, here for an abortion? It's okay, don't be scared. The first one's always the scariest. Take room A, second door to your left. I'm sorry, your little friend. All you dude, I'll be right here. Restricted to positions only. Hi, I'm Dr. Poon Lover. Get on up in the chair and this won't take long at all. Hey, little young to be having an abortion, aren't we? It's okay, we have a booster seat. All right, just sit back and relax. We'll get that fuck trash taken right out of you. Here we go. Uh, uh. Ha! What the? Wow, never seen that before. You burned out the vacuum. I'm gonna have to get this thing fixed. Be back in a minute. Access granted. Thank you, Doctor. Ah! Ah, damn it! Oh, it's you! Thank God! Something strange is going on here. The PTA reviewed that tape you got us. The Taco Bell has something called a Plan B. They've been here looking through these records, but why would they be interested in the gynecological files of the women of South Park? I'm afraid now you know too much. We have two more asking a lot of questions. Deal with them quietly. We can't let anyone find out what we were doing there. Before you kill us, tell us why. Why is Taco Bell taking the records of women's vaginas in South Park? I'm picking up some hot readings on the Peggy. Tell us! What do women's vaginas and Doritos Locos Tacos have in common? Peggy is going crazy. Oh, shit! There's an outbreak here! We have contamination in Sector 7! All units to Sector 7 now! Secure the entire building! Put that woman in restraints! Ah! What's going on? Uh, Taco Bell security. Your clinic is infected with a Nazi zombie virus. 
Nazi zombies, that's ridiculous and bigoted. I happen to be German. Is one of them? <laughs> Tell people what you saw here today. Let's go, quarantine the plague. There's something crawling under the floor, sir! Nobody move! Oh, uh, what's going on? I, I'm just here for an operation. <laughs> oh, there you are, Doctor. I'm ready when you are. Is this going to hurt, Doctor Teehee? There's something fishy going on here. I think they might be Nazi zombies. We'll see if you're a real doctor. Give her an abortion. Do it! Oh, goodness! Christmas time is once a year Every critter holds it dear Every animal big or Phew. small Christmas Ow, my balls! So my balls! My malls! My, my favorite shopping malls! I'll close at five, Doctor! Can we please get this over with and quickly? It happens once a year it's once a year at Christmas time. Oh, that's cold. When that's we cold. Hear about how Christmas only comes once a year. Mm. 
Is that blood? I told you that thing isn't a doctor! Fry it! Christmas time is once a year. Every critter holds Mother. its dear. Every animal, big or small. Phew. Christmas means so much Ow, my to balls. us all. It's once a year. It's Christmas time, and it happens Oh, that's once cold. That's cold. Year. It's once a year. It's Christmas time. When we hear about how Christmas only comes once a year. Is that blood? I told you that thing isn't a. <laughs> Christmas time. Ow, my labia! Once a year. Oh Every shit, all that stinks, God! Every animal, big or Phew. small. Ow, my balls! So my balls! It's once a year. Oh, that's cold, that's cold! Time. And it happens once a year. It's once a year at Christmas time. When we hear about Is that blood? Christmas only come. I told you that thing isn't a doctor! Christmas time is once a year Every critter holds it dear Every animal big Ow, my or labia. small Christmas means so much to us all It's once a year, it's Christmas Phew. time Ow, my balls! My once a year It's once a oh, year, Oh, that's it's cold, Christmas that's cold! Time. When we hear about how Christmas only comes This is about as wide as I can get, Doctor. <laughs> is that blood? I told you that- Hey, <laughs> hey,
That's JV. You've been practicing. Shh. Nobody move. Christmas time is once a year. Every critter holds it dear. Every animal, big or small. Christmas means so Phew. much to us all. Ow, my it's balls! Once a year. My balls! It's Christmas my... time. And it happens once a year. It's once a year at Christmas time. When we hear about how Christmas comes. Oh, that's only cold. Comes. That's cold. This is about as Once wide as I. Okay, okay, do it. I'm ready. Oh boy. Oh god, it's snagged. Oh god, it's snagged. He did it! All right, so he is a real doctor. What the hell? Oh shit, clear the building! The area's been compromised! Get out now! Uh, you go ahead. Might be a while before I can walk very well. Ah! Ah! What the hell is that? <laughs> Mathers, where did you find the alien goo? Broken vials were in the trash can, sir. What could have come into contact with it in the trash can of an abortion clinic? Oh my god. I'm here for you, buddy. God damn it. Look at that little fella. Are those little babies sucking blood? Get this guy to a doctor before it's too late.
That's right. Respect our authority. Baby! They're us! It's just fetuses. The soldiers will probably waste them. The babies are eating my brains! Nope, they're fine.
day would come. Today's the day you sacrifice yourself to save me. All you got, bruh. That's it, that's it! The area is secure! Code green! It's not secure! Tell all units the outbreak has been contained! It's not contained! What the hell are you talking about? It's not contained! You, you don't understand! Chloe Kardashian was in here this morning! She had the biggest abortion I've ever seen! <laughs> Fucking weak, dude.
this one time when I didn't like a kid, I ground his parents up into chili and fed it to him. My body was not meant to move quickly like that. Well, that's not cool, dude. Even I know that. I saw two rats running around last time I was at Skater's Bar. I'll probably still eat there.
girls want to thank you for your help. All right, then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, the girls are very thankful for you texting us the abortion records. We are one step away from finding out which girl among us is a two-faced bitch. Unfortunately, the record keeper at the abortion clinic is from Paris, and so everything is written in French. Whoever this two-faced skank is thinks she can outsmart us. We want to help you and the boys play your game, but we just can't have a two-faced bitch out there on the loose. Just get these documents translated for us, and we promise we will join your army. Sparkle! Sunshine! What's this? Council, gather round! This must be something the new kid needs our help with! Sank femmes ont sobi un unvartement... What language is that? It's some kind of strange orcish. I've seen this language before. In the kingdom to the north. Oh, the kingdom to the north? Whatever's written on these documents is somehow the key to us recruiting the girls to our army. Is, is that what you're trying to tell us, new kid? Come on, sp spit it out! Getting that document translated isn't going to be easy. To breach the kingdom to the north, you will have to assume another identity. Your name is no longer Commander Douchebag. It is now Larry Babinski from Cleveland. The quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the Lost Forest. Head north, then north again, north, and then north. You better get a real passport photo first or you won't make it past border control.
We elves craft the finest shit in the land. We elves craft the finest shit in the land. shit in the land. Hi, here to get your passport photo taken? Just head into the room there and we'll get started. Step between the lights. That's great. Okay, smile. Oh, do you have anything else you could wear? Could you try something else on? Yeah, it's just, it's just not working. Let's try that other outfit. Yeah, it's just, it's just not working. Let's try that other outfit. Uh, no, tell you what, how about just no shirt at all? Let's try that. Yeah, that's gonna work better. Here we go. Oh, those pants don't work with the lighting. Could you roll up your pants or, you know what, just take, take the pants off too. Okay, that's good, really nice. Yes, very nice. How about we lose the underwear? You sick son of a bitch! Stop him! You'll never take me alive! Come to try and stop me? It isn't gonna work. Wasn't that into All day's work. Wow, good job, kid. You're quite the fighter. All right, let's get this over with. Say cheese. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport.
Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. The zombies came for the tacos, that's my theory. Psst. Psst. Hey, over here. Jesus, you smell. <laughs> I think we should go that way. In no, you see? No matter what. Ah! I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. You're not from around here, are you? All oh, hail the Prince and Princess of Canada! Hail. Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the South? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the Great Border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire.
Hold it right there! Here are your photos with the prince and princess. Would you like two 8x10s or six 5x7s? All right, there you go. You can exit right through there. I would have picked the 8x10s. Respect my kingly authority! Welcome to Winnipeg. This is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Do whatever you want with your T's and M's, however. Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what, kill off all the dire bears in the north of town, and I'll help you however I can. Come at me, bruh.
shall be a day for all to remember. Job, you've done it! Look at all these diabear pelts! Now I can finally make a diaro! All right, give me that document. Mm, yes. This is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec. I will speak with the Prince. Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy, I will have the most diaro in all of Canada. The prince seems agitated lately. There you are. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the bishop. <gasps> kill the bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the bishop of Banff for me and bring me his balls as proof. Do this and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste. Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? You want to throw down, dog? I'll throw down.
Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my wares? Praise Christ, praise God, praise God and Christ. The prince thinks Canada is a monarchy, but there's other people with opinions by God. What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? Assassin! Turn the other cheek. He knows not what he does. Love thy neighbor. So fucking awesome. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Ah! Awesome work with the bows. You think the prince will let us keep them? Dad, did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's balls! Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now.
Yes, yes, I know. A letter from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. Who are you? Perhaps he is the American everyone is talking about, Tance. Nah, it can't be. 